Microsoft is about to release its Windows 11 Moment 5 update very soon. In this video, you will see the preview of exciting Windows 11 features in the Moment 5 update. The Windows Copilot. The first change in the Windows 11 Moment 5 update, you will see Windows Copilot icon is shifted to the right side of the taskbar, shifting the notification icon to a little left. The Show Desktop button is now gone. The Copilot window can now be positioned underneath the Copilot sidebar, offering users the flexibility they need instead of being constrained to appear next to it. Moreover, the Copilot interface boasts a broader layout and is now accessible via the Windows Alt plus Tab menu, streamlining the process of switching using keyboard shortcuts. Additionally, Copilot is now compatible across multiple displays, enabling users to open it wherever they prefer. Widgets Board Microsoft is constantly improving the Widgets Board by including new features. This time, they have added an option to disable the news feed from the Widgets Board. This option is helpful for people who don't want to see the news feed in their Widgets panel. With the news feed, the whole widget panel gets larger, and the actual widget gets less space. You can go to the settings by visiting this gear icon, then click on Show or Hide Feeds, then disable this Microsoft Start option. Microsoft is expanding the interoperability of the Widgets Board, allowing third-party news services to develop plugins that seamlessly integrate with it. This means platforms like Google News or Apple News could incorporate support for the Windows Widgets Board. Users would then have the option to install these plugins if they prefer accessing news from these services instead of Microsoft News. Snap Layout Suggestions The other change you will see in the Snap Layout Suggestions. If you hover your mouse over the Maximize button, you can see the new suggestions. The suggestions will incorporate your opened app so that you don't have to manually select other windows to snap. Simply clicking on the suggestion will snap all the windows with one click. Nearby sharing. The next change you will see is in the nearby sharing options. If you open the nearby sharing settings, you see an option to rename the device for nearby sharing. You don't need to change your whole PC name. Instead, you can simply rename your PC and it will be discoverable by that name. Another thing you will see in the nearby sharing is when you enable the nearby sharing, it will automatically turn on the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on your device. If you right click on a file and share it, you can see it now has the option to send the file via WhatsApp. And if WhatsApp is not installed, it will install the app and then send the file. In the future, you might see other apps integrated here. Voice access. The voice access now supports multiple displays. Also, you can now add custom shortcuts to your voice access. To add the shortcuts, you can click on this question mark, then go to view all commands. Here you can select the voice shortcuts. Now you can add a new shortcut. Here you can add what you are going to say, then you can choose the action like open a folder, then select the folder or folders. Now save this. Now where you say those things, it will perform the set actions. Mobile Devices New Features The next change in the Windows 11 Moment 5 update is the Mobile Devices. When you visit the Bluetooth and Devices, you will see a section here, Mobile Devices. When you open it, you can see the new option. You can enable this option and click on the Manage Devices option. You will have to sign in with your Microsoft account if you are opening this for the first time. Now you can add your mobile devices by scanning the QR code. Once you have done pairing your device, you will get notifications whenever you click a photo. You can edit that photo on your PC seamlessly just by clicking on the notification. App Updates You can see minor changes in the inbuilt app in this moment 5 update, such as in the notepad now, you can see the character count at the bottom of the window. Also, you will see an option Edit with Notepad in the context menu of Windows 11. With this, you can quickly open and edit the files with Notepad. In the earlier updates, Notepad got a major change of auto-saving the files. You don't need to save the files before closing them. You can close the window, and the next time when you open the Notepad, it will have the written text. Another change you will see in the Microsoft Store app, it now comes with an arcade tab that contains like games free to play without downloading. You don't have to download and install these games to play. If you have some free time to kill, you can play these games. 
How to install Windows 11 Moment 5 Update. Microsoft is going to release this update for all users very soon. However, if you want to try this update right now, you will have to join the Windows Insider program. To do that, open your settings, go to the Windows Update section, then click on Windows Insider Program. In here, enroll yourself in the program and select the Windows Release Preview channel. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below. And share this useful video with your friends and family. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.